Hello and welcome back to Let's Play. Let's. Uh, <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Wind Waker. I am Shadow Productions, and in the last episode, we broke into Forsaken. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> Well, I guess I could use this wonderful opportunity to show what happens if you go the other way uh, after you get thrown in prison. You can go up here, more searchlights and stuff like that. Uh, but mainly, I just wanted to show how you could get the compass, which is in this room. I'm not going to show the whole uh, progression back to where I was before, but just wanted to show off the compass. And this will show you where like all the treasure chests are and stuff like that. So now that we're done with that grade A bullshit, we can finally stealthily go up these stairs and finally rescue our sister. Hopefully. Hope nothing goes wrong. Nice fucker. Not getting sent back to uh, prison again. Just turn around. Go about your business. I think we're good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, now, now that we've got that behind us, we're in the clear. So there's no more stealth or anything like that. And as long as you remember to get rid of those spotlights, you should be good. Another new thing is if you get close to the wall and press A, you can kind of sidle along it. And uh, the best like thing I can compare this to is Sly Cooper. Love Sly Cooper, love those games. Those games are fantastic. The only real problem is if you do an LP of the second game and your screen name is Paper Mario Guy, you're probably a faggot. So, I don't know though. I think I like Sly Cooper 2 even better than this game. Probably, I don't know. Sly Cooper 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. It's a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, go play it. Well, go play Sly Cooper 1. First, then play Sly Cooper 2. Great game. But now we finally have our sword back. And we'll never have to do anything stealth related in this place ever again. Which is great. Oh, did they? Did, did the game just tell me to be careful not to drop it again? Oh, sorry. The, the, I, I had control over that. I was the one who blasted myself into a wall. And now, our sister should be just behind these doors. Well, we really put up a fight. Why is there why is there a ship up here? There's how to get up there. Not realistic. Fuck this game.
And Ganondorf shakes his head. Someone must be thrown into the ocean. Pedo boat. Kevin. Get up. Get up, Bambi. You must get up. Pull yourself together, Kevin. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Kevin, I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how you desire to protect your sister, to, how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the Emperor of the Dark Realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Kevin, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? Will you suck Ganon's cock? In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you should must where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the great sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. How the hell did you get to Windfall Island with Link on your back, then? Unless that bird threw me all the way to Windfall Island, which would be pretty hardcore. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sale must come first, do not feel limited to buy, buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. So. This, uh, although Windfall Island, er, Outset Islands are home, Windfall Island is pretty much the main area of activity. It's got all the people and all the big side quests and stuff that you need to do. So, oh, hello. You are a re-dead. Oh, oh, if you please, young boy, there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. No, you're gross. Yeah, I think his daughter was kidnapped or something, but I really don't care. That guy will teach us a very important song. But we don't have anything to play the song with, so useless. I just jumped into the back to where I started. That's a good thing to do. Hello, King of Red Lions. He will be our main form of transportation throughout this entire game. During which we make we will make many various cuts because we're obviously not gonna watch Link sail to every one of his destinations. Um well, our main objective is to get a sail, but we can also get a very nice tingle tuner and other things. Mainly the tingle tuner, I think, in here. But we have to watch a ridiculously long cutscene. 
Where this guy talks about shit I don't give a fuck about. Plus the fact that I absolutely hate Tingle. Oh, why'd I talk to him? I didn't even let him out yet. Ah. Uh. Yeah, goodness, did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm a faggot. Everyone hated my rank on Insider. Oh my god. You can't even skip this. This is terrible. This is awful. This guy... I hate him. This guy, in this game, he gives you absolutely no reason to like him whatsoever. He's so fucking ugly, he talks to you, he's annoying, he makes you spend, like, a shitload of money so you can translate these maps, can't skip it, hate this guy, I hate him. Gave you the Tingle Tuner, I actually haven't ever used the Tingle Tuner, ever, but my brother's a Jugger Conroy fag, so he... Had to go get the Tingle Tuner, probably because Jagger Conroy showed it off in an LP or something. Um, so, he has that. So I could borrow that from him. And use that. Possibly show it off. I don't really know how useful it is, but... There's also the Tingle chart. If you don't know where Tingle is, if you ever want to seek out Tingle, you can use that. But you never want ever want to see, seek out Tingle. Like, fuck Tingle. I hate Tingle so much. But now we don't have to talk to him again for a while, which is good. And now we have a little maze thing that we can go through. And at the end we'll find a Picto box, I believe. And that will come in handy in various side quests and such. If we can get through this maze which I don't know if we can. Just be careful not to uh, get forced out by any of those rats. Because sometimes you t if you take a wrong turn, there'll be like this bitch-ass rat that tries to... Yeah, if you ever see like that wooden area, don't turn onto that because there will be a rat there who'll just fuck you over. So don't do that. Hope I'm making progress, Addy. No, no, don't turn right. Don't turn right. I almost... Or left. I almost pressed left. Glad I didn't. Um, okay, we made it. Good. I usually get so lost. There we go. Picto box. I think you get, like, the deluxe Picto box. Like, practically straight off the bat if you, uh... Do the second playthrough after you beat the game. But uh, right now the Picto Box isn't terribly useful to us. You just kind of tell you how to use it and such. These ancient tablets. So we have that. And we could try to get the Deluxe Picto Box. Um, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. I could try, actually. Uh, I have to get out of here. Hmm. I actually probably should have turned to where, uh, yeah, turn onto one of these, just get out pretty quickly. That's what that rat does for a living. Let me get stuck back down here, but we got all that we needed to get in there. So now all that's left really is to get the sale. And I might do the Picto Box side quests. I don't know. I don't even know if I can do them yet because I don't think I've ever attempted to do it this early. I'm going for 100% in this game. Uh, but I usually don't get 100% in this game. I think I've done it like once before last year. All right, this guy's gonna try talking to us. Uh, but I, mean, I just want to sail. I, I don't care about anything this man has to say at all. So we can buy a sail from him for 80 rupees. And once you do that, that's all you really need to do on this island. But we could visit the uh, pictograph guy. 
Not sure where he lives. I don't think it's that really rich house. And I think that's a shop. Um, trying to remember where his house is. That's the school. Oh yeah, it's this one. All right, the one with the big camera over it. Why, young sir, I must say you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. What a weirdo. Oh ho 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 ho! Aren't those some? Aren't these some finely snapped pictographs? You must admit it. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. That's a good hobby. By the way, these pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see. In my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the Great Sea. Yeah, don't really give a shit. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I just. That's a boat. That's outset. Not sure what that is. This is an incredible picture. Oh, he can. I'll actually talk to you about him. Wow. Alright, that's, I think, uh, your private island. That's a bunch of chews. That's Forsaken Fortress. That's one of those statue things to unlock the Temple of the Gods or whatever. The Tower of the Gods. And then I think we have to wait for him to come back down or something. Yep. Alright, I'm not too familiar with the side quest because I've only done it, like, once. I'm glad to know I did it right. You see, young sir, I've, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, could you be my research assistant? All right, yeah, I think, all right. So basically in this side quest, you need to go around taking various pictures for this guy. And if you get it just right and show it to him, he'll ask you to do another one and there's three all together. And once you do that, you can go to uh, Forest Haven and capture a firefly type thing. I'll get more into this later when we actually do it and bring it back and that's how you get the deluxe picto box. And you want to get the deluxe picto box if you're going for 100% because I believe it allows you to get at least one heart piece. I'm not sure like exactly what it gives you, but I know I have one heart piece in mind that you can get with it. Now the pictures have to be kind of exact or he won't give it to you and you have to go back and take it again. The first one is definitely the hardest, because uh, you need to get it like right as he's right before he puts it in, and you get a split second to do it. And for some reason, I just have the hardest time doing that. The second one's pretty easy, and the third one is medium. I don't know; it's it's not all that bad, because you know exactly when you need to take the picture. All right, so this one's kind of a pain because we have to wait a really long time, and you could always go inside to reset it if you miss the picture. But basically, we just have to wait for the red guy to come by. Alright, so here he is. And the timing's a little tricky. Just keep it on this screen. And as soon as he holds that ladder up to the mailbox, you gotta get the picture. Alright. So I think I got it. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I actually got the letter in his hand this time, reaching for the mailbox, so that should be enough. If this bearded bastard doesn't let me have it after that, I don't know. But, the, pos the position I'm standing in when I take that picture is probably the best one you could take, or be at, because you're like close enough, but you're not too close that he won't take the picture. So, let's show it to him. Yep. 
Oh ho, now this is a finely snapped photograph indeed. Hmm, now, they say love is blind, but what could he be thinking mailing all these letters? Alright. So now we need a picture of the town's most cowardly resident. But the key to the last one is definitely getting the letter in his hand. Like, getting the picture of the letter in the guy's hand. Ugh. Alright, now I believe the next one we need to get is up in here. In this bar. It could be kind of difficult to get this one. But... Basically, you gotta get him, like, while he's really scared. And the only way to do that is to, like, run into something. You're gorgeous! You look like a million bucks! Link is quite the dedicated photographer, bashing his head into walls, scaring the shit out of people, taking a picture of them just at the right moment. That's dedication. Alright, that's two. That should be enough. And if we get that one, then that's two of the three we need. And the third one isn't too bad either. So we could get this side quest out of the way, which would be great. We wouldn't have to worry about that for later on. And then once we go to uh, Forest Haven, we could also pick up the Firefly thing that we need. You are such an angry person. He'll literally like walk around the town, but if you get within like 20 feet of him, he'll stop and stare at you. Alright, so hopefully one of these pictures tickles this man's fancy. Yep. And for number three... Okay, so we need to get a picture of these two lovers. And this one, you also have to do some waiting. I like the second one, because you can just go and take it whenever you want. This one's a pain. Alright, that's him. Oh, yep, he's another one of those guys who just... Will not move unless you're really far away. Hope those killer bee bastards don't mess with the picture. Of course. They're gonna stand right where I need to take the picture. Alright, I'm not sure if the angle was good, but I definitely got the shot. And that's definitely the shot you're looking for. So let's see if this guy will be satisfied. There's a good chance he won't, but we'll see. He's pretty picky. Well, there we go. Now then, young, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I set you to. My doubts about you have all been cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Kevin. And to reward you further for your fine efforts, I offer you this. The elderly lady next door tells me it has value of sorts. Thank you. From here onward, come rain or wind, my heart shall rest in comfortable ease. And at the same time, your heart will learn the love that photography fosters. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, yeah. Now I think we just need to get a... A little firefly thing from Forest Haven, and we'll have our deluxe picto box. But that's a little ways off. So, for now, I'm just glad we got all those stupid side quests. Or that stupid side quest out of the way. And now, with all that done, I think we could head out... And go to our first uh, dungeon, I guess. That's a mailbox. Has mail in it sometimes. If you ever uh, need to check your mail, just go to one of those. There's one on like every island, at least one. So, don't worry about that. But just saying, you do get mail quite a bit in this game. Even though we haven't gotten any yet. So, in the next episode... We will uh, venture out to Dragon Roost Island. So I am Shadow Productions. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.